guys uh, welcome back this uh, week's tutorial is gonna be uh, uh, to fear fill filling for one of the subscribers request uh, he requested this effect about uh, I think tentacles or whatever like uh, growing and wrapping around uh, the face uh, like what you see here from the Naruto's manga I think they have this character his name is uh, Obitu so uh, we're gonna try to achieve that. They, I did receive uh, more requests for a lot of uh, tutorials, and I'm just uh, one person, so I try, I try to like to uh, make all those tutorials as uh, if the time is allowed. And you know, you guys know that uh, here in the USA right now it's uh, uh, Christmas week, so it's a really busy holiday. So I just chose this one because it's kind of easy to do. Uh, but the other ones I'm gonna be doing the, uh, the negative coming weeks like uh, the nanomite uh, tutorials uh, and uh, a couple of uh, renderings tutorials so I'm gonna be sure to attend those so let's uh, get to it and uh, I'm gonna show you how this is uh, done here so I made uh, this is the effect that you guys are gonna be doing it's gonna achieve something like that I made a little video here, little movie. Okay, what is it? Mm. Do my desktop. There we go. And this effect, this effect here. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. So I'm gonna open a uh, new scene. I'm gonna create a sphere. I'm create this view here, the bottom view. After I'll just center it. Uh, I need to do that, but it's always a knife to have all the transformers zero, zero down. Uh, I'm gonna click uh, R, I'm gonna uh, duplicate it, shift and scale up. Now I have a duplicate of it. Okay, I don't want to scale too much. So. Okay, copy. I'm gonna convert it to an editable poly. Click one, select these vertices here. Come in the back. One. Convert the faces. I'm not selecting any other places, you need them. Next, I'm gonna apply a twist modifier to this one here. In this case, I'm applying a twist to get that twist effect, but uh, probably in your case, if you are doing a real character space, you are not gonna be able to do the twist, apply twist band because the geometry is not that uniform as this one here. But uh, the twist for this one here should uh, just do fine. So we have a twist. Z is fine, everything else is fine. And just a twist a little bit here. Uh, I guess, I mean, that's good enough. I'm gonna convert it into a poly. Click 2. I'm gonna select every other edge. I'm gonna select 1. Go to modify selection and push this button. Actually, you select every other one. Not that Alt plus L. I'm gonna select the loop. Go under here, create shape from selection. And now select smooth. Click OK. Now we don't need this object, we can delete it. Now we have uh, our shapes that we're gonna use for our geometry to travel uh, through using the shape, the shape deformers uh, modifier. And the problem here is uh, we have a lot of shapes and we need them to be separated to each uh, to single uh, shapes here. So for that I'm going to use a script. So because there's no, uh, you don't, you can, you can do it, but uh, the only way that you can do it here in Max is basically you select. Uh, you can even select a one spline and detach it. Because all that it does is just copy it. So what you basically what you need to do is select, uh, select to copy the whole thing, copy the whole thing, and I can move it to the side and select one, 
Das Blind. Don't all invert. Delete everything and do that so you can just get one. And that's really time consuming. It's gonna take you forever just to do that. So for that I have script here. Go on scripts. My stuff. Make sure I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna, uh, gonna provide you guys with this script here. It's gonna be uh, under the this video description. So I'm gonna click spline detach here, and then you're gonna go ahead and detach all the splines, two single splines. That's the original object. And the other ones are the single splines. I'm gonna delete this one. Next, I'm gonna grab my uh, let's select one of the spline here. Okay, make sure, make sure that all the ends of the spline they are all from one direction. So I'm gonna you know, shift G to hide the geometry and select all the splines and apply the dip spline to them and click one. And as you can see, all of them, but this one here, but this one here is facing the wrong way. But we only want them all to be facing one direction. For that, I'm going to select some little bit to make sure that I'm not right by this one here. That's the spline that I need to change. I'm going to delete that as your spine here. Select just this one. Click one. Select that vertex here. And change it to make first. Now they are all same in the same uh, position, same direction. Next, you need to get your uh, and, uh, hide the geometry again. Shift plus G to hide the uh, geometry. I'm going to create a cone. And then I'm going to add. Change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna just give it so you guys can see. Next, I want this so uh, with uh, up the segment on this one. Let me get 32. And the size, I'm gonna just make it to 8. Okay, next, what I want to do, maybe up the height a little bit. Now, I want this shape here to be moving through all these lines. So basically a lot of copy of this and each copy of them need to be followed. There's gonna be a lot of work, that's why there is uh, another script. I'm gonna load it here. And uh, my script, open script. Uh, I'm actually gonna go on script, not script, on script. And it's the multipath animation tool. This one here you can find it on uh, scriptspot.com. You just go over there and uh, look for multi path animation tool, and it's where you can find it and download it. I'm gonna open it, uh, it's called the multi path. Choose a file here, there, choose uh, this object here. And all what you gotta do is insert. It's gonna look for all the shapes in your scene, and gonna make sure that make the geometry animated to all through all those. Uh, the, I will make sure you need to change the axis here too. For uh, in this case, I think it's gonna be the Z axis, and the Z is equal equal to here. So we're gonna one two. After click go, that's all it takes. Right. Now, this is what we get. There you go. Get them. What we want, as you can see. <coughs> we are already getting a nice effect here. What they want, I want, uh, I want them to be out. They don't want them to be out of the splines at the beginning of zero, and they want them to be at the end when uh, the I want them basically to be here, to be here when the time I'm going to finish in time. So for that what I need to do, first of all I'm going to go to my geometry here, original geometry, go to under effect pivot only, and raise it all the way up. Uh, 
Magic. And it's go again. Um, go. Right. Now if I go back to zero, as you can see they are all out. Almost. As you can see they are not yet. Some of them are already in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my uh, original geometry that I want to instance it. I'm going to add a little pole on top of it. No, not a little pole. I'm going to apply a 3 by 3 FFD. Click one. Grab the top and pull them out. Pull them down. And as you can see now they are not in there. Now they go like this. All the way to the end, to the other side. If you want the whole geometry to be covered, grab the other end and pull it out. Pull it all the way out here. And now we have this effect here. And it's all controlled, and or you can just make it smaller if you want to, just like this. And that's it. Let's see. And basically, that's what I did for my uh, for my character. Uh, I'm gonna open it back again. Open. Let's see. This one and close this one and shift. As you can see, this is how much of the shapes that I did. I basically conformed all my shapes to the face or uh, to the way that I want those to be deformed. And after that, I just applied the same script. And basically, what I did, I built the geometry first. And after that, I built a very quick geometry that has all the shell edges like flowing this way. I thought I extracted those edges using uh, the same method that I showed you and I thought I uh, make them each one individual sh uh, shape and in the end I just applied that multi script and this is what I got so I hope you um, guys uh, learned something from uh, new from uh, this tutorial here uh, you guys make sure to uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment uh, but uh, usually if you have uh, any effect that you want to do just uh, post a comment down here and I'm uh, more than happy to show you how as long as I have the time for it and I'm uh, committed to do one video tutorial every week so uh, and I thank all my subscribers so really when I see subscribers like this I see like I feel like that I'm not wasting my time because I feel like I'm helping other people to reach their goal or uh, learn something. So that really means a lot to me. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you next week.